Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. Are you ready for your mini routine for today? So let's start. We're going to start today lying on the ground. And remember, you can put your, prefer, your favorite music at home just to make you feel more relaxed and more comfortable. So let's start. We're going to lie down on our back and just relax here. You can keep your legs straight or you can bend your knees. Relax your shoulders, relax your face, move your hands and your tummy. We're going to do a couple of breaths just to help to settle into the present moment. I start to work with our body. When we really connect with the breath and we slow down the breath, we feel that deeper connection with our body. And it helps us as well to relax when we're doing the stretches, but also to have more awareness when we are moving. So relax here. You can close your eyes. Keep your hands on your tummy. Just feel the movement of your tummy when you inhale and exhale. Feel the expansion of the ribs, the chest moving up and down. Feel the air in and out through your nose. We're going to take a couple of breaths, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth with the sensation of fog in a glass. So let's go. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Again, inhale and exhale. Just one more. Inhale and exhale. Now we're going to do the same sensation. Remember that this is called Ujjayi breath, and that helps us to engage our epiglottis and the diaphragm to have more control and expand more the breath. We want to have this deep, long breath just to calm us down, concentrate us in the present moment. So this time we're going to inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose, but with that sensation of fog in a glass. So let's go. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now we're going to inhale for four beats, hold for four, exhale for four, hold for four. Our box breathe, just to give us a rhythm in our breath. So let's take one deep breath through your nose. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. And hold. Two, three, four. And in. Two, three, four. And hold. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. And hold. Two, three, four. And in. Two, three. Four and hold two three four exhale two three four and hold two three four and in three four and hold two three four exhale two three four and hold two three four back onto your rhythm but try to make a deep along with the same sensation you had before inhale deep and exhale, inhale deep, and exhale, now slowly we're going to bend our legs, lift your feet off the ground, and squeeze the knees to your tummy, we hold here for four breaths, inhale deep, and exhale, relax your shoulders, inhale, and exhale, Let's go for two, inhale, and exhale, and just one more, and exhale. Now drop your arms on the ground, we're going to move our knees around in circles, just keep your knees together, and we just go for five, and four, and three, and two, and just one more. Now we change the direction. We just go five, releasing the lower back, four, and three, two, just one more. Good. 
back to center, we drop our feet on the ground, open your arms beside your shoulders, palms facing down, we're going to drop the knees towards to the right side, as far as you can go, now let the right leg completely rest on the ground, and as far as you can go with the other leg, and we just rest here, you can move your face opposite direction of your legs, and we're just going to rest for four breaths, inhale deep, and exhale long, let's go for three, and exhale, let's go two, and exhale, just one more, inhale deep, feel lovely sensation in your lower back, back to center, and we're just going to move the legs onto the other side, and again, we're just going to hold here for a couple of breaths. Inhale deep, and exhale, let's go for three, and exhale, let's go two, and exhale, and just one more, and exhale. Back to center, release your arms beside your body, lift your feet off the ground, hug the legs one more time. This lovely sensation in your lower back is stretching and releasing your lower back. Let's go for four breaths here. Inhale deep and exhale. Let's go for three. Relax your shoulders. Let's go two and exhale. And just one more inhale, and exhale. Gently drop your arms, drop your feet one at a time on the ground. Keep your legs bent, keep the same with hips, knees and feet. We're going to move the right leg up, and we're just going to go. Inhale, bring your leg down a few inches off the floor. Exhale, flex your foot and move it back again as far as you can go without forcing your leg. And we're just going to go. Inhale down, and when you are coming up, imagine that you are pulling the leg from your tummy, so engage your tummy. Let's go for eight, and come up. Let's go for a seven, and up. Let's go for a six, up. Let's go five, up. Let's go four. Up, let's go three, up, let's go two, up, and just one more. Now we keep the leg up, hold the thigh or your calf muscle, whatever is comfy for you, even if you can hold your foot. And we're just going to stretch here the leg, pulling gently towards to us, and we're going to hold here four deep breaths. So let's go, inhale for four, you can flex your foot or keep it a point or just resting. And let's go, three more, inhale, and exhale. Let's go for two, inhale, and exhale. Let's go one more, and exhale. Bend your knee, squeeze the knees towards to your tummy, take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale, drop your foot, then we're going to repeat everything on the other leg, so left leg come up, you can keep your hands on the ground, and we just go, inhale down, and exhale up, and we keep going down, and up, let's go down for seven, come up, let's go for a six, up, let's go five, and pull from your tummy, okay, that you really use your tummy and engage your tummy, let's go last four, and down, three, and down, two, and down, and just one more, and down. Keep the leg up, catch your thigh, your ankle, or your foot, and we just stretch here for four breaths. Remember, you can move your foot if you feel tension, and also the foot movement is going to help you to release tension in the leg. So let's hold here four deep breaths. Inhale deep, and exhale. Let's 
go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Bend your knee. Pull the knee closer to you just to release. Take a couple of breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Release your foot, everybody. Now we're going to cross completely the right leg over the left thigh. Completely. No gaps between your thighs. Open your arms beside your shoulders, palms facing down. And we're just going to drop the knees towards the left side. So towards the leg is under. Move your face opposite direction. And we just rest here for four breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Back to center. We swap the legs, left leg over the right, and drop. It feels really nice to stretch in your glute and your leg. Make sure that both shoulders remain on the ground. Don't force too much the legs that the shoulders start to lift. Okay, keep both shoulder blades on the ground. Keep your arms on the ground. Move your face opposite direction of your legs. We hold here for four. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Two. And exhale. Just one more. Remember, we hold the stretches as far as we don't feel pain. Back to center, everybody, and cross your legs. Good. Now we're going to go rolling sideways. So we're going to start first on one side. So completely rest on the side of your body. Keep your palm one on top of the other one. Your knees one on top of the other one. Knees close to you, pretty much aligned with your um, hips. And from here, we're going to inhale as we open the arm. Let the arm arrive onto the other side, and when the arm arrives, engage your tummy, and then we swing the legs all the way to the other side. When the legs rest on the floor, then you release the upper body, and you arm just beside the other one. And we're going to repeat again. Inhale, arm come up. All the way when the hand arrives, move the legs, the hips and the legs to go all the way to the other side. And then the same, when the legs are right, then you start to pull the rest of the body. So let's go. Inhale, R, all the way, and exhale. Use your breath. Doesn't matter if you don't go with me, just keep it a deep, long breath. Arm come up, inhale, and we go. It feels really good, this exercise. And let the arm. You should tell me to be able to manipulate your legs. Again, inhale, open. Exhale, roll all the way. Again, inhale, open. Keep your tummy engaged. And we go all the way. Oh, that's fantastic. Again, inhale, arm up, open. And exhale. This exercise, I love it because it gives you a massage as well in your back, in your glutes. Last one, everybody. Inhale, come up. All the way. Oh, I feel good. And then gently, we're going to roll back into our back. From here, we're just going to go into reclining eagle pose. So we're going to lift our feet. We're going to cross the right leg over the left. And here, if it's possible, you knock your foot under your foot. If not, you just keep it close to the other lower leg. Okay? So you can knock the foot. Okay, great. You keep your knees above your hips. Engage your tummy. We're going to move the arms up. Bend your elbows. And this time, the right arm is going to be at the top of the left one. So kind of the left one, kind of wrap the arm, cross your arms. If it's possible, bring the tops of the hands closer and together, if not, as far as you can go. If you can knock your hands, make sure that you keep your fingers and your wrists together and move your arms 
a little bit away from your chest. Keep your arms parallel to you and we hold here for four. Inhale deep and exhale. Let's go for three and exhale. Two and exhale. Just one more. And exhale. Release your arms. Extend your legs and your arms. Push your heels away. We take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Well done. In case that is too difficult, the legs and the arms together, you can do you can do only the legs or then after the arms. Lift your feet, everybody. Left leg crossover. If you can knock the foot on there, if not, just keep it close as far as you can go. So here, if you feel this is just too much, you can just hold here, holding your legs, and then after you do the arms. Now from here, move your arms up, bend your elbows, and this time the right arm is going to go under the left. It cannot wrap the arm, cross your arms, top of the hand, hands facing each other, bring them closer as far as comfortable for you. And then from here, keep your arms parallel, give, and move your arms away from your chest. We hold for four. Inhale. And exhale, engage your tummy to don't force your lower back. Let's go for three. And two. Just one more. Well done. Release your legs, extend your arms overhead, push your heels away. We take a breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now move your hands behind your head and we're going to lift the head, just chin to chest, just to release our neck and we take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Release your head, open your elbows, bend your knees, lift your feet off the ground, hands under the knees, lift the head and we're going to rock in backward and forward to come into the sitting pose. Ready? Oh, let's go. Now from the sitting pose, we're going to swing the legs to the side and we're going to move on to all fours position. The next part is called Tibetan right. Um, if you feel it's too strong for you, I'm going to give you a modification, okay? So that what we're going to do, we're going to come onto plank position. Inhale and exhale. We drop the hips. Don't push the hips on the ground. Keep pushing your heels backwards and we just arch here. Now we're going to inhale, high plank, and we're going to push ourselves back onto down dog. If you feel this is too strong for you, the only thing we're going to do, we're going to do from here, from all fours, we're going to go arching, cow stretch, curl the toes under, and down dog. And you back again onto your knees to do the arching. Okay, so let's start. So let's go high plank if it's possible. Press with your fingertips on the ground. Don't let the weight collapse on the wrist. And always that sensation of kind of gripping the ground. So from the high plank, we go inhale, exhale, drop your hips, stretch your tummy, arching your back. Inhale, high plank, and exhale, down dog. Again, inhale, high plank, exhale, Arching your back, keeping your heels backwards. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Again, inhale, high plank. Exhale, up dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Again, inhale, high plank. Exhale, up dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Well done. Now drop your knees back onto the ground and we're going to rest on child pose. So drop your hips back as far as you can go backwards. We're going to bend the elbows, push your palms together and move your hands just behind your head. We're going to hold here for four. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. 
we release our arms, we go back again onto all fours, and we're going to repeat the Tibetan right. Okay? Make sure that your tummy is really strong and you use your fingertips that you don't let the weight collapse on your wrist. So let's stay high plank, everybody. Inhale, exhale, drop your pelvis, arching your back. High plank without forcing. Down dog. Again, high plank. Up dog. High plank. Down dog. High plank, up dog, high plank, down dog. Last one, high plank, up dog, high plank, down dog. Down dog, we hold inhale, heels up, exhale, heels down. Let's go for three, down two down and just one more down. drop your knees back onto the ground we're gonna step forward with the right foot whatever is your right hand slide the left knee as much as you can then here we're just gonna inhale exhale we rock backwards flexing your foot stay stretching on the front leg inhale rock forward and exhale backwards and we just go for eight and back for seven back as far as you don't feel pain six back five back four back three back let's get two as far as you don't feel pain don't force your body remember this is Concentrate more into mobility. Hold the leg straight. You can bend it. You don't have to fully extend it. And we hold here for four. Let's go for three. Two. Just one more. And bend your knee. We step backwards. We swap the legs so the other leg comes forward. Slide the back knee. And we do the same. You can keep your palms or your fist or your fingertips. So let's go. It can be just tiny. Don't worry. What we want to maintain and develop is mobility. So don't worry about flexibility. Let's go, go for seven. For six, as far as we don't feel pain. For five. For four. Three, two, and the last one. We keep the leg straight as far as possible for us, and we hold for four. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three, and exhale. Let's go two, and just one more. Bend your knee. A step backwards and then we're gonna sit on child pose if your child pose is still here like you cannot touch your heels don't worry just keep your heels on the or elbows on the ground sorry push yourself backwards as far as you can go but don't let the weight collapse on the head keep moving backwards so we can extend the back and the thighs if you can go all the way onto your heels you just extend your arms forward and still use the hands to push your bum backwards Move chin to chest. You can let the head go down, but don't let the weight collapse on the head. Keep the weight on your hips. Okay, your hips pushing down to your heels. Let's hold for four breaths. Four. Three. Two. And just one more. We raise our torso. How do you feel? Good. Remember, just the small things that help us to release tension, but the most important, keep our mobility and gain mobility. So if you have time, you can come back to the beginning and repeat the sequence. So you have like a 
40 hours class. Remember, you just need to, to click in the chapter and it will bring you when, where the routine starts. And if you still time to go, so don't worry. We're gonna say goodbye with our three last breaths. So hands on prayer position. We go, inhale, move your arms up. Exhale through your mouth, arms drop. Feeling great. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Hands back, prayer position. Remember that these exercises, even when we don't feel good, that we feel a little bit low. Anyway, the emotions are all over the place. Just give us those, these 20 minutes. Mobilize our body. Connect with our breath. It really helps us to change our mood. So thank you for joining us. Remember that we are Sacred Body Studio. You find us in Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and activate the bell. My name is Fabi and thank you for joining us.